Welcome back to Asia Tonight. Business news continues now, and India's central bank has cut its benchmark interest rate today from 6 to 5.75%. That's the third consecutive cut to rates. Newly re-elected Prime Minister Narendra Modi will continue to grapple with slow economic growth and decades-high unemployment in the next five years. Our correspondent in Mumbai, Rebecca Bundan, has the details. It was a very widely expected move that the RBI, the central bank, would cut interest rates, and it has done so by 25 basis points uh, to 5.75%. Now, this is the third consecutive rate cut by the RBI. In theory, it's a move that should help to boost economic growth. Um, that's because it's the rate at which the central bank lends to commercial banks. However, there are concerns about how efficiently these rate cuts are actually being passed on uh, by lenders to consumers and businesses. So the idea is uh, when the central bank uh, cut rates, the economy can uh, get a bit of a boost because uh, interest rates come down for, for businesses and for consumers. That allows uh, businesses to, to borrow more money to expand their companies. It allows consumers to borrow money to spend on real estate, cars and so on. We've seen um, worrying figures in terms of car sales recently come out uh, that suggests that consumer spending has taken taken a bit of a hit. But there is that concern that if these interest rates are not passed on, uh, it won't actually necessarily uh, help the economy to, to a great extent. But the idea is there that by cutting rates, it should help give the economy a boost. And it has uh, done something to improve sentiment. Also, inflation has been kept in check. So that's uh, over recent months, that's been, been something that's helped the RBI to make this decision. Um, but having said all that, it's not really entirely uh, up to the RBI. And the RBI uh, plays a very limited role in an actually comes to, to boosting the economy. So uh, analysts are saying that it's really now uh, up to the government to actually be making uh, firm policy decisions that will now help uh, support and, and boost the economy. And, and though this decision may, may help somewhat, there's still a lot more that needs to be done, uh, especially following that uh, worrying figure that came out for the first three months of the year of a slowdown to 5.8% in GDP growth, which is a five-year low for India.